For many years, motor racing has been a popular sport in New Zealand, attracting drivers with a taste for thrills and mechanics with a taste for tinkering. There are car clubs all over the country, and though prize money is not large, there's nothing small about the amount spent on vehicles. To these racing fans, the roar of a souped-up engine is a sweet sound. Here at Dunedin in the South Island, the annual meeting always brings out a big crowd. They're tuning up for the major event, the Round the Town Race. Since this race was first run 10 years ago, the standard of driving has improved, along with car club finances. The best drivers in New Zealand now compete for the cup. And they're away to do 36 laps on the up and down, sometimes narrow and always exciting circuit. Winding over hills and around sharp bends, the course soon separates the men from the boys. Top drivers can average 60 miles an hour, but hairpins like this cut them down to size. In his Cooper Climax, winner Dennis Hume rolls over the finish line. He collects 150 pounds, the Festival Cup and a glass of champagne, all of which makes a good finish to a good day's racing. For the big money and the big names in motor racing, we fly north to Auckland, our largest city. Here in January each year is run the New Zealand International Grand Prix, an event which brings drivers from Britain, the United States, Sweden, the continent and Australia into competition against the New Zealanders. January is holiday time, and sprawling in the summer sun, Auckland relaxes. Holiday traffic cruises over the harbour bridge. Locals and visitors are making for the beaches that surround the waterfront. Enjoying the summer weather with friends are Grand Prix drivers, some of whom have come halfway round the world for the big race. An expert water skier, Arnold Glass, is trying to explain the sport to the English drivers. At least one of the Englishmen has other interests in mind, and Arnold's only pupil is New Zealander Bruce McLaren. After his wobbly efforts, Bruce decides to stick to car racing. He says it's safer. In the evening, the party returns to town. Maybe there are butterflies in those well-fed stomachs. For tomorrow is the big day, Grand Prix Day. Auckland streets are packed with tourists, many of them in town for the Grand Prix. Late shopping can be very pleasant on a warm summer's night. Today is race day, and though the sky is overcast, the ground is packed. Some people have spent all night camped outside the gates. There's a crowd of 60,000 here, and 15,000 cars jam the parking lots. Spectators have driven to Auckland from all parts of the country for the biggest day of the year in New Zealand motor racing. In the pits, last-minute checks are made. Tipped as one of the favourites, Ron Flockhart is driving a Cooper. So is Bruce McLaren, who carries number 47. At the wheel of his Lotus is England's Roy Salvadori, watched by Bonnier of Sweden and Sterling Moss. Number four, a Cooper, is driven by the world's champion driver, Jack Brabham, who has two New Zealand Grand Prix to his credit. The crowd is on its toes, dressed for the weather and looking forward to an exciting race. There are 24 starters, 14 of them from overseas. 
The Grand Prix competitors are ready to roll. They'll make 75 circuits of a two-mile track, 150 miles of hard driving. There'll be no stops for refueling. They travel in a bunch over the first lap. At College Corner, McLaren in number 47 is taking the lead, with Moss chasing him and Brabham right behind. Along the straight and into the hairpin, McLaren hangs on to his narrow lead, but Moss in a Lotus is pressing him. Moss makes the break and goes through to take the number one position. Brabham is in second place now, McLaren lies third. Moss keeps his lead until the 31st lap when a broken transmission puts him out of the race. Lap number 40 and the field has been reduced by a third. It's a bad day for competitors driving Lotus cars. All five are forced to pull out along with two Coopers and an Aston Martin. The New Zealand drivers are lasting well with Dennis Hume keeping up just behind the leaders. Brabham number four is out in front holding a 50 yard lead from Bruce McLaren in 47. It's settled down to a battle between these two for first place. You can count the rest of the field up. Brabham is having trouble with his engine and McLaren tries to narrow the lead. Along the back straight, the heat of the track is producing severe haze. Fighting it out for minor placings, the rest of the field has been lapped by Brabham and McLaren. There's some fine driving by Arnold Glass in number 10, who's pushing his Cooper Maserati just as hard as he can. Brabham still has the lead, nursing his sick engine, but keeping 100 yards ahead of McLaren. comes off the hairpin for the last time. He'll be very unlucky if he doesn't win now. McLaren is right behind, but can't get enough speed on the back straight to overtake the champion. It's all over as they approach the finish line. Brabham and McLaren have driven a great race. Jack Brabham flashes past the flag. He set a new record, one hour, 40 minutes. McLaren finishes only one second behind. Jack Brabham, the popular world's champion driver, has won another international event and his third New Zealand Grand Prix.